Michelle Hinchy. Here. Tim Hinkle. Here. Danny Loggins. Here. Michelle Mina. Here. Jason Ragland. Here. Cindy Siler. Here. Andy Tree. Here. Rick Watts. Wayne Richard. Here. We have a form. Ambulance lady. Clear. Father in heaven, we come to you tonight, Lord, and we just want to give you thanks. We thank you for this place that you've given us to live and uh, the wonderful things that are in it. We're just so thankful tonight. We ask you into this house tonight and just to lead and guide us in the decisions that we make. And we pray for these uh, people that we are uh, making decisions for. We just thank you for your son Jesus and his shed blood. And all these things I ask in his name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Check with uh, the treasurer after that. In, in fact, what we were discussing is the truth that, that, in effect, would have been a resolution authorizing that department to spend more money. I'll make the corrections. Ordinance 2023 48 being enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Searcy, State of Arkansas, an ordinance to be entitled to amend the 2023 annual operating budget and to appropriate funds and to allow the county judge to administer said appropriation. Whereas the county has received funds from the Association of Counties Risk Management for insurance proceeds in the amount of $40,000 from total loss of compactor truck solid waste. <clears throat> Therefore, the following appropriation is approved. Fund 3009 sales tax fund, office 0700 solid waste, account 4004 machinery and equipment, the amount of $40,000. Whereas this ordinance herein enacted is an appropriation ordinance and therefore is effective immediately. Motion is ready. I make a motion to approve appropriation ordinance 2023 48. I second that one. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we got a resolution 2023-14. <laughs> resolution number 2023-14. Be it resolved by the Quorum Court of Searcy County, State of Arkansas, a resolution entitled a Resolution Opposing the Changing of the Name, Designation, or Expansion of the Buffalo National River and any further negative impact on the agricultural <coughs> lands or infringement on the private ownership 
on the Buffalo National River watershed. Whereas Searcy County Court and Court hereby opposes any name change or changing of the Buffalo National River, which may impact agricultural lands or infringement on property owner's private ownership. Therefore, the County of Searcy opposes any action such as changing the name or changing of the Buffalo National River, which may impact agricultural lands and infringement of private ownership. Be it further resolved <coughs> that the Quorum Court of Searcy County has duly adopted this resolution and caused it to be in effect immediately. I make a motion to approve resolution 2023-14. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Jeff. We've got something for us. It seems I'm always telling what the problem is. <laughs> That's your job. You gotta, that's my job. You have problems? The brain. The brain, okay. We might want to hold this up or we can look at over here. But just basically, this affects uh, JP4 and JP6. Um, there was someone that came in uh, looking at the voting, uh, how, how they would vote in these two elections, whether they would be voting in four or six. And so we did some research on this little area right here that sits next to five, between five and six, down in that little area right there. And I've got a sort of big scale of it here where JP5 is. So what, what has happened is there are a group of homes inside JP4's area, right in this little area right here, which is, I think they, some of it's called the Nixon Heights, and then, and then Oak Street and a couple of streets that come up called Colbert, and uh, what was the other one? Well, there's several, Meadow and Holder uh, that come off of that. These homes inside JP4 have been voting for JP6 um, Justice of the Peace for years, maybe as long as 30 years. They've been voting for JP6, even though they're in JP4's district. This affects 56 homes wow. with 106 registered voters in those 56 homes. Now, I don't know how many people have voted. A lot of those elections were um, just uncontested elections, but <coughs> These people have been voting in JP6. So I'm correcting, I'm gonna of course correct that and put everyone that should be voting in JP4 that's in this little area right here, ensure that their, their names and their household addresses are in fact put back <coughs> into JP4 rather than voting for JP6. And like I said, I, we couldn't really determine exactly how long, but I have a really old uh, map like this, and, it, and that map still has this area right here. The last time it was redistricted was in 2011 um, by uh, uh, the doc was, was on that, that commission. And, um, and uh, they put um, some of four into six at that time, but it still didn't affect this area because this area has been in four as far back as I can determine. And so these people have been voting in the wrong JP district for a long time. And so we're gonna fix that now and then this upcoming election, these people in that area will be voting for JP4. 
uh, as we were looking at that, we found five households in JP5 that were also voting six. And so we will fix those five households that are in five so they're voting five. There was also one right up here at the top of five one home that was voting JP4. And so we're gonna move that one back to five also. So there's a total of six homes in five that were voting other JP districts. So we're gonna fix those also. Um, so is there any questions about, about any of that? I mean, thank you for working on it and get it right. Well, you know, someone came into the office and asked, and then Cassie and I were put on the on the trail to try to figure out what the heck was going on because our voter system had them voting incorrectly. And um, that that is something that the clerk's office is responsible for. So somebody way back when screwed up. And so we're 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 gonna fix it. And from this point on it will it will be right. Uh, we we looked at the rest of the county, well, the state and I looked at the rest of the county and we really didn't find anything else that was was voting wrong with the exception of this little bitty area right here, right around Marshall. So, uh, but this does not affect tomorrow's special election. These folks, they, the ones that are in Marshall show Marshall. And so these only affect the JP races and had nothing has nothing to do with the Marshall race tomorrow. So we don't have to fix anything before tomorrow morning. It's it should go smoothly. And we're gonna have a whole bunch of provisional votes down there because people will come up and say, Oh, by the way, I've moved into Marshall or whatever. And so we'll have some votes that we'll have to do provisionals on, but hopefully the rest of it will go smooth tomorrow. There's only one, one we have to make no eggs, that's it. And so it should go fairly quickly. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good job. You got something? Yeah, I do. Um, and I don't know where to start, and I realize everybody else is looking for answers as well but there's a lot of people in my district that are concerned about this watershed issue. Um, some of them know more than I do. Obviously, I'm a transplant. I've only been here since 2011, technically. Um, but my concern is, is there's a lot of opinions and a lot of personal conversations in town hall, but I don't see, and there may not be, I don't know where to go with it, but there's, I don't see any push for more answers from the people that are pushing or has put out there the, from the wrong way group or the, the Bass Pro gentleman or the other group that's involved with Sarah Sanders and her husband. And, you know, I don't know where to start and if anybody else has started, could you share your information? <laughs> well, every, everybody that I've contacted, they ain't got no information. They're back and off. They just, they don't say they don't know nothing. So. Do you feel like they're they're blowing you off, or you feel like they're giving you two things? Well, I'd say they're going to back down for a while anyway. You know, Rex Nelson has written two op eds, mm -hmm. consistent op eds, and he's very much in favor of it. And so, some view that as being a tell of what might be happening upstream. Okay. And that's and what I've read those as well. Rex Nelson is very interested. Yeah. I don't know him personally. I know him at all, I guess. I've read his op, and I don't. I, I just see this moving forward as a bad step. And yes, our resolution's in place, but how much does that truly protect? Not much. So I see us trying, but I don't know that we're trying enough, or where enough where it makes a difference. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. The well, resolution, by definition, is non-binding, but what it does is it is like. Um, collective opinion that's mm -hmm. put on record and it, and it does matter because individuals such as that group will pay attention to that. Was there ever an ordinance or anything else done from the 70s 
over that issue that we can go back and look at? There are some resolutions I've got now, which is like I say, I don't know if we're getting <coughs> more binding than the one we've got now either. You can, you can go online. The Code of County Ordinances are online on businesses' the site. I don't know if the updated version is there yet, but you can you can scroll through those. And I seem to remember there was an ordinance or two in there pertaining to the Buffalo River, if I, if I remember correctly. I did read it one time. Okay. So there is at least maybe some information we'll need yes, to go back can. into. And, the Code County Ordinance is online, I've seen it. Okay. Um, and as, as you and I discussed earlier in the meeting that's coming up Saturday, we don't who do you have on task for that as far as? We just got uh, sent to and eventually into the local people. Long way groups, they made a statement, but they won't come. All the Congress people, they'll send somebody, but they want that statement, so. Okay. So they'll, they'll come and listen to our, you know, thoughts on it. I wonder if we flooded their office with calls. They might maybe stand up and take over. Best thing to do is call them. I don't know they got a bunch of calls, but one of them had their mailbox was full. I got the call today, so. They have had the calls. Okay. And Boone County, a lot of people from Boone County will be here. <coughs> they're, they're sticking together across Boone County. If we had to fight, could we fight as a county? I don't know. Fred, do you know? You know the answer to that. <laughs> uh, short answer is no. I don't, I don't know the answer. <laughs> but it's a um, we kind of we kind of need to know the parameters of the rule, what we're looking at, what, what's going on. I know right now it sounds like there's something that's in the public sphere. Public sphere is a little more of a political question. I haven't seen anything out there that's concrete. I don't live in your county. We'll move on. Right. No. Yeah. Here. But, I, but I'm paying attention, so right. I'm, I'm, I'm watching this. But I haven't seen anything concrete. It's like this is what this is what the plan is. This is what someone is being asked to pass. You know, this is you know where your where your field of play is, whether it's in the federal government, state government, county level. You know, wherever right. things are. If it's you know, if, it, it, if it comes down to a decision that, that falls squarely in the parameters of federal government, you're, you mean, it's a political question as far as you're concerned, so, you know, dealing with your representative or your senator or somebody like that. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, the federal government sits here and, and, and the, the county government sits here. That's just kind of the way it works. Yeah. And so, you, you know, I don't know that there's anything on, on a county, on a county government level, I'm not on a private property, that's totally different right. thing. On a county government level, I don't know that there's anything that could be done right now, <laughs> as far you know, as far as an ordinance, whether it would really bind any any federal agent. My, I guess it's probably no, but um, well, I mean, you always sit down and look at it. You always hear federal supersedes state. Da, 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 I get all that, but at the end of the day, they can still do what they want, whether we put a resolution in place, an ordinance in place. I mean, at the end of the day, realistically. They're gonna, I mean, money talks. I mean, that's it. You have money. <laughs> that's that what makes the world go round. My understanding is Congressman Wasserman, he heads a very powerful <coughs> committee in Congress, mm -hmm. a committee which is responsible for letting, he's like a gatekeeper, which allows it to even proceed as a bill to the House floor. And so he is the one, he's not our Congressman, mm -hmm. Conference Bowers, but, but he's the one that you would really want to talk to. He's, you're never going to get him at his aides, his office. He's and one of the mailboxes, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can email him. Well, yeah. Email him where I would start. And I would also like to recognize Mr. Tom Wimberly. I think they pay attention to the judges. You uh, Send us an email and everything. Your name, Terry, is Boy. Anybody in the camp? Oh, hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I want to talk about. Uh, about three or four months ago, I don't know exactly, this uh, court appointed a committee to investigate $163,000 that was misplaced in the county funds. And uh, we haven't heard another word about that. 
I would like to ask what's going on with it and where it stands, that investigation. Well, Tommy, it's odd you bring that up. Uh, a voice in my head talked to me about three days ago about that very issue. Really? Yes, it was a strange voice that said, you know, we probably should issue a report on that. We did meet, and I will tell you that it was understood that the clerk will move forward with the recommended changes as the as the audit recommended, and some of these other issues were pertaining to the office of the judge, and specifically that dealt uh, with the credit card, correct? And um, I mean the report is online; you can check it out. And so, I guess that um, the JPs that were looking into that, we just have never coalesced something. I guess for uh, for consumption, it's just that it was understood that those things have been remedied because you have new officials in those offices, and they have decided to uh, move forward with these changes. Like for example, you know, the county now has a credit card, <coughs> and the clerk could speak to the issue that was in the audit better than I could. Remember, we had the conversation, Jeff, about you know, getting Burke better than I could. Uh, I'm sort of a deer in headlights. <laughs> That's all mine. <laughs> I'll have to. Tom, um, I'll get back to you personally. I don't have an answer for you right this minute. All right. Uh, you're talking about, and if I may just continue, uh, it, you're answering me with uh, some of the things from. There were people, something was done wrong, some their money was misplaced or mishandled, and I would like to know who did that. So besides just the band-aids on, on the fixes that y'all put in place, that's what my concern is. Well, the quorum court's responsibility is never investiga investigatorial. I made a word up. <laughs> or prosecutorial. <laughs> of course. I, our, I made that word up. I think our commission is to just simply look at the audit and work with the county officers about how we would address what the audit found. And that has happened. Uh, you would have to direct your questions to probably Carol Cruz or his def her deputy, which would be uh, Chad Brown. Is that correct? Sounds accurate. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, I, yes, yes. So prosecutor attorney reviews audits. If there are uh, legislative findings, uh, there are findings that are referred to the prosecuting attorney to yeah. determine whether uh, whether criminal charges should be filed. Yes. Oftentimes, that the response is a request for further investigation. Um, I am not necessarily the, pro the prosecutor that that addresses those. Kind of a good reason for that because I'm kind of your on the ground person that has a lot of personal contacts with you know with some of the people that might be could theoretically be targets of, of a potential investigation. Yes, sir. So a lot of times the elected Carol Cruz, you know, handles those, okay? Yeah. And I don't always necessarily get daily reports because again, you know, if, if she needs to do something with a little bit of discretion, it's probably better that I'm not necessarily talking to her about it every day. So with, your with that specific referral, I'm unaware of anything. That doesn't mean there's nothing going on. It just means that I'm unaware of that. But what I will do is I will, I will ask her, um, if she's aware of anything related to $168,000 or something, $53,000. So I'll write that down, I'll talk to Carol about it, and I'll probably report back to the judge and just let, let them know. Well, for a matter of public record, I'm not recalling that number. <coughs> I, what I do recall was process that needed to be improved. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the quorum court looked at was process because we were written up in the previous audit for the quorum court not looking into that. And so the quorum court, all we've done, those of us that were involved with that, is just simply to talk to the office holders about the findings on the on the um, on the uh, audit. But that issue that you're talking about, I don't even really recall that the audit necessarily implicated anyone for wrongdoing. It just said these are things that need to be discussed and perhaps reviewed further. Is that not correct? I really, so I'm, I'm not being cagey. I really don't know anything about that specific thing. I will tell you in a general nature, though, there is a there's a simple step of referring something from the audit. So you get the audit report, you know, here's what happens. Sometimes, right. you know, something, sometimes something goes from the world of maybe bad accounting to potential criminal acts. 
that accounting doesn't necessarily get referred to the prosecutor potential criminal act does so I don't know I, I really don't know if this was a, that was a finding that was referred to the prosecutor but I'll, I'll get it I don't believe it was I think it was a process it, it was a matter of proper procedure being followed and I can't recall what that is to be honest with you but yeah. it was it was a matter of uh, procedures being followed I think it had to do with I believe it was a paper trail where the judge issues a uh, request, a warrant, or something. And there was stuff paid that he didn't have claims on, too, right? That's like right. Three claims totaling one sixty three three ninety nine were not located. One claim of eighty two sixteen was in. Yeah, we were paying stuff without any paperwork. Yeah. yeah. So a claim is like a receipt. Yeah. What it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So paying paying claims without. Without any, any, anything back no of why, why the claim mm -hmm. is submitted. Just writing checks. But again, the court has, that is, I'm telling you, that is on the auditors and has nothing to do with us. That we did not look into that. We just simply looked at the audit report. Mm -hmm. And one of the findings was that we have to reply to that audit finding, and that's what we did. I understand. Yeah. While I have this gentleman mm -hmm. here for me to ask questions, who would refer that? To the prosecutor for criminal proceedings. Well, the legislative audit. There's a there's a referral process on the legislative audit. If that ends information, that that again, you know, something might fall into something that goes different from we pay something without getting a receipt. Right. You know, kind of like kind of like if you pay for your gas on your business card and you forget to print off the receipt at the gas station. There's right. that, or there's you went around and paid for your you know, personal personal gas with your business and didn't turn that in. Those, you know, so if it's of the former, then that might be something that's referred, or the others maybe just something you should have had received. So I don't I don't know the answer to this one because I really don't. I understand. Um, but I'll find out. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, because I know when I was asking questions, the legislative audit does not prosecute. Like you said, that that has to go through the process for the prosecute attorney which they will, they will note the findings. Depending on the findings, you may or may not have to go to Little Rock and sit in front of those, are they commissioners? It's the audit committee. The audit committee, they ask you questions, you answer them. Um, but again, it's just more of an investigation type process. It's not it's to not do- a, It's not a grand jury, it's, yeah. they're not prosecutors, they simply are- Yeah, they, they push it off to the prosecutor's attorney. They have to push it to the prosecutor. Yes, yes they that's cannot. That's the step that I'm missing here. Yeah. He said he's going to check into yeah. it. Who would refer it for prosecution? Yeah, they That's what we're trying yeah. to find out. The, audit, the legislative audit. I'll, I'll find out. And I'll add, I'll add that, <clears throat> that legislative audit process, the prosecuting attorney's office also reports to the legislative audit. And sometimes they want to know, you know what happened here. And there's right. some reporting that goes on there as well. So yeah, there should be a report somewhere. Sounds, sounds reasonable. So I'll certainly look into that. Thank you very much. You can go online and you can watch the proceedings. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Anything about anything else? Okay. Okay, proceed. Motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn if there's anything else. Ready? Second. All in favor? Aye. If anyone's interested in the addresses and the stuff that I talked about, I've got that information with me tonight. You can go over and look at it.